Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's obviously update day today. <clears throat> and we've just learned that there's going to be another week on the Easter egg, which is pretty awesome. So it's going to give you guys a chance. If you haven't hatched the painted cat yet, you actually can still hatch it, which is, again, fantastic. Something new that is also coming is there's going to be um, an expansion to the Easter world. So there's going to be actually another huge that's going to be uh, put into these two eggs that are right here, both the gold egg and the normal egg. And it's going to be the huge Easter Yeti, which is going to be very, very cool because we've all been trying to hatch those rainbow Yetis and the shiny ones for the last week. And now we're going to have a chance to actually get a huge one, which is, again, pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, so some other things that we've heard are coming this morning are going to be the whole diamond mine, <clears throat> the diamond world, of course. And so let, let me go show you where that's going to actually be. Of course, it's not out yet, but it's going to be coming, and it's going to be over here um, where the leaderboard is. So it's, it's going to be on one side or the other. I'm guessing it's probably going to be right here because there's the most room over here. Um, <clears throat> and so that's going to change a lot of things in the game. It's going to obviously change uh, the fact that people are able to get gems a little bit easier, which is a really, really good thing. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys were online last night or if you went into the plaza, but people were literally freaking out about the whole the whole gems update, the whole diamond mine. Uh, what does it mean? Is it going to mean that my gems are useless? Like, what does that really look like? And so uh, I went into, geez, I got to say at least 15 servers last night, 15 trading plaza servers, and people were just, again, going mental about the whole the whole update, the whole diamonds, um, what's going to happen to them, and some of the some of the uh, servers that I went into, there there were some huge pets for sale, but either they were insanely priced, and I mean like like fifty billion for a gold hell rock or sixty billion for a gold hell rock. Um, there were things that like cupcakes were like sixty seventy billion. Um, so things were just again insanely priced, but they were selling, which was also really really crazy. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that was a good thing that people did or a bad thing because we're also learning this morning that there, there's not only going to be one area in the diamond mine, there's going to actually be three. And so with that being said, that means that that's very likely that you're going to need to have either some gems or something to upgrade that, um, in order to get those rewards. So, or in order to get into those areas. So there's apparently again, three areas that we need to be able to get into. I'm guessing one's kind of a one for kind of a beginner type of player where they don't have a lot of gems that will help them get started. And there's probably like a middle tier. And then there's a, the, a much higher tier, which is going to be obviously like a pro type plaza type of thing. Um, and what we're learning about the pro one is that you actually are going to need to sacrifice a huge pet, um, which kind of stinks, honestly, because I gave away all of my hell rocks uh, because I hate them. They're ugly. Um, but I do have a bunch of gold ones, but I really don't want to get rid of the gold ones. So I might go hunting for a, just a basic heck rock to make sure that I have something to get in to the last part of the diamond mine. Because again, I'm, I definitely don't want to uh, sacrifice anything that I actually like. And the heck rocks are really the only ones that I don't really like. So, um, so that's probably what I'll be using, but <clears throat> make sure you are still using obviously the daycare because that does give you gems as well. Um, because again, we're going to need to have some gems to get into the the diamond areas the diamond mines themselves the the different the different portals um we do know also from some of the leaks that have been going around the last few days um i think it's rbxg correct me if i'm if i said that wrong um, but i saw some of the leaks on on your your youtube channel and, and on twitter as well <clears throat> and there are several new new pets um and they're pretty cool actually so there's also going to be an exclusive egg um that's going to have a lot of new pets in it and there's going to be um, a Titanic in it too. And it's very, very colorful. It's kind of cute actually. Um, but there are like little crystals and stuff sticking out from the new pets. So that looks, they look kind of cool. They look kind of different. So excited to kind of see what they will actually look like and what they will actually be. And, um, we'll kind of take it from there. We don't know even like what they're going to cost or how many gems it's going to cost to open those eggs. Uh, but we will see that here shortly in the next 37 minutes, obviously. Um, so if you're not logged in yet, be sure you get logged in because you want to make sure you get the hype gift. I know, <laughs> I know it's very rare to get like a huge pet out of the hype gift, but it is possible. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people get them and I actually was able to trade for the, uh, party axolotl in the plaza. So, um, I got that about a week ago or so. So definitely make sure that you are getting them, make sure you're keeping them, opening them, trading them, whatever you want to do with them. They are valuable still. 
Um, and then we also know that there's going to be a bunch of new breakables. So uh, we learned that there's obviously going to be a chest in the diamond mine. Um, however, just like the chest, they're like in Pixel and Cat and such. Um, the chest isn't the way to get the most gems. So as we learned, I think with previous updates, the best way to get the gems is to actually go and do the other break the other breakables that are all around the room. Um, and they give you a much better return. So there's still going to be coin bags. I, apparently there's going to be two or three different kinds of coin bags. Um, so lots of opportunity to get more gems. And then there's also going to be some other new breakables, which are all diamond related. And so again, lots of opportunity to get more gems. Um, and I hope you guys are able to get a bunch. And I hope that this update goes very, very well for everyone. Um, I, again, I know people are seriously freaking out about the plaza. I'm not even going to go in there this morning because I know I'm going to see like a bunch of empty booths or a bunch of things that are like really, really overpriced. And I did spend a bunch of my gems over the last couple of weeks. I do still have about, I don't know, probably 500 billion or so in the bank that I'll hopefully not have to take out um, to get into these new areas. Hopefully it isn't too expensive, um, but we'll see how much it actually costs and then take it from there. Uh, but again, you know, good morning, everyone, and I hope you guys are having a great morning and um, stay tuned for the update. We're going to have uh, a new video coming out soon for that. We'll go ahead and start that when this update actually begins. Uh, but just wanted to guys give you guys some updates on what is coming and what fun things to look forward to. And I'll see you guys all in game. Have a great one. Thanks, guys.